I hate the way this, they're not letting me put my shit sideways for some reason no more. And it's like, because they're gay and fucking. YouTube did an update this morning on my phone. Did they? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're doing all the lives like that, man. But, um, the, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. It's morning for you. Hey! What's up, everybody? Tune in to Off the Yard. I'm your host, Big Lance. I'm in work truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, much love. Starting off, much love, man, too. New Age Plug and the boys over there. Check them out. Ronnie Blue Eyes, Red Winner, AZ Ruction. These dudes had a panel. They had a big panel to go live every like damn near every night and they had my back man and I appreciate that shit dude they, they had my back man and they, they made a lot to me because they you know they're good, they're good dudes I don't know how many of y'all caught yesterday's situation but um shit went down over at Dirty Weather 916 show uh, it's going down in the mean YouTube streets <laughs> But I got to thinking about it. I'm beaming with a grown man who talks through a puppet. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, what's happening, man? What's happening? Let some people get in here before we get into the whole situation. Dude said Big Lance off the map. Yeah, oh, that's you. Hey, that you too. Let me get him out of here real quick. I'm going to block him. See, it's, uh, that's it's mean right there. But, uh, Removed. <laughs> hey, any moderators that see the YouTube beef channel, man, please block them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Uh, bye. All right, see you later, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Ashton Emmy, for the two dollar the two donation. It goes a long way, and I love you, and I appreciate everything. And uh, there's a lot of haters. Look at them hating. Woo! I love it, bro. I love it. Callie's checking in. You know what time it is. What's up, white boy? No doubt. Yeah, you're hating on me, but I got 80 people in here in 30 seconds. Keep hating. All right. It's because we got the realest. The realest. Gladiator game can't nobody fuck with, man. They're too strong. Too strong. Much love to all the real ones not hating. I appreciate you. So look, we talked about yesterday. I relapsed, man. I messed up. But, but, not, uh, you know, it needs to be addressed that accountability is the biggest thing, dude, in, in, in any type of rehabilitation situation. You gotta be, and you gotta own up to the shit. And people are gonna back you, support you, love you, love and respect them enough to be honest. Don't lie to their face anymore. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it hurts them. Marlene told me this morning, you do it again. I'm done with you, bro. It's done. A lot of people are gonna be done. You know, a relapse is one thing, but a whole run, that's a different thing. channel dude but what do you say I didn't see it for some time I'm out you guys it wasn't a relapse it was the first it was a one off bro it was a lapse there you go so yeah it's not a relapse it's a lapse a lapse in, there was a lapse in thinking and judgment and not action so anyway that being said we have an individual who um we call we call him Monica Lewinsky uh, because he's trying to get famous off of riding, you know, sucking me off, you know, for the last three four years on his channel. I backed this dude. I've, I've like had a little you know back and forth with him because he's a weirdo. And uh, you know, I, I, I haven't slayed him ever in 
these in these YouTube videos. But he's a he's, he's a cornball man. Always has been a cornball, and that's just what it is. So we went on Dirty Weather's channel because I felt some type of way, and he kept making these trash ass videos about. Uh, calling me a, a crackhead and uh, all that stuff with his puppet, talking to his puppet, and so I told him, uh, you know, I, I tried to. It, it seemed like the more respect I tried to show this guy, he was being more disrespectful, taking my like my meekness for weakness. I wasn't trying to be respectful because I was scared of him in any form of fashion. This dude is a fucking gamer who is used to bullying eight-year-olds on Fortnite. Bro, I'm a grown whole man. I will beat your beard off your face. For real, dog. And he says, well, I'm not doing unless there's a bag involved. I fight in the ring. I fight in the cage. Win, motherfucker. Never. That's win. Okay? Because you have a whole zero experience in any of that. Come on, buddy. I'm not doing that. I told myself, I want to meet you at Walmart and just beat the brakes off of him. That's all I want to do. Okay? I'm not, I'm, what are you, Floyd Mayweather? Not, we're not boxing. For what? <laughs> I'm not a boxer. Yeah, you're right. I'm not, you know, but I got two minutes of whoop ass for you. I promise you that. <laughs> two, two minutes. Except it all fades. That's right, Heather. What are you doing, baby? Man, man isn't a man that has to play with dolls. Yeah, bro. I mean, what the fuck? I beat his eyebrows off his goddamn face, man. What the fuck is wrong with that dude, man? What's up, everybody? Zoom Corpse. Good morning. Anyway, that all being said, this channel ain't about beefing with YouTubers. This channel's not about beefing with anybody. But I'm not gonna get like I'm not gonna let another man get on a platform and say that I'm I'm sucking dick for shit and, and fucking and really really say some wild shit and not and not go go back at him. I'm not gonna do that. That's dead. I don't think I should do that. Because he, when he's talking bad about me, he's talking bad about y'all. You know what I'm saying? He's talking bad about all of us. Because if you guys support and, and, and show love to me, hey, we, we we are a unit. You know what I'm saying? If one goes, we all go. Insert cash. You know, that's how I feel. Okay, okay. Oh, damn. Why are we listening to all these people all fall like this, man? Interesting. Are me and Dirty Weather cool? Yes, we are cool. Rob does work. Good morning. <laughs> that being said, though, let's get back to the positivity, man. Let's get back to the good morning. Good morning. I will say this, though. I'm actually happy. I'm very happy that there's not a lot of people watching the live because that means that we're not gonna, you know, feed into bullshit. I like that, man. I think people saw this and were like, oh, this is bullshit. You know what I mean? That's good. Collect change. Bro, it was almost $6 for a toll. Was it really? Yeah. That's insane, dude. Nobody's plug. Let me go over there and check him out, man. Also, I need to shout out. You know, I gotta do this. And nobody thought I would ever do this. Ah, uh, well. Um. Shout out to Big Sid, man. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm, I'm sure that's gonna get clipped. But shout out to Big Sid, man. Thank you for, you know, in your own way, having my back, buddy, and, 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 you know, although it was meant to be comedy and all that, uh, more people in this life, in this world, suffer from addiction than, than people might know. There's so many people in those programs that it's, it's ridiculous, and it's a, it's a hard thing to do, and that's why there are people dying. That's why there's people dying, because it's serious. Let somebody get on a platform and fucking joke and, and play with a fucking, with a puppet. And I feel like you spit, not only in my face, but in anybody's face who has lost a, a friend, a brother, a sister, a wife, a husband, to ODing off of 
fucking fentanyl or crystal meth. You think that's funny? You think it's cool? To make jokes and call people that and it's, you know, who is a cracking with your stupid fucking puppet? I'll stop that puppet up your ass, dog. Real. So. I'm not, and 40 dog, look, check it out, homie. It ain't the drama with, I don't try, I have a lot of drama with other YouTubers, dude. But this dude went across the line, that's why I did what I did, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, let me tell you how, how corny and just thirsty dude is. <laughs> Makes a whole nother channel called YouTube Peeps. Do not subscribe to that. It's him. That's who that is. Tiffany, I'm, you're not going to get that notification that I'm passed. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Thank you, though, man. Thank you uh, for just everything. You know, like, um, new moderator in the house. Thank you, New Age Club. Oh, he's going get him. No, go get him. Get him. Dog man, I am I am sober. Um, I relapsed four days ago and told everybody about it. I got some hate, mostly got love, and that's how you're gonna beat this addiction shit with love, man. Not just love from other people, not love for other people, but love for yourself. If you don't know how to love yourself, it needs to start happening. It does, man. Because I didn't love myself, and I'm starting to now. You know what I'm saying? You already know, breadwinner. Much love to breadwinner. New moderator on. Big lance off the yard. Let's go. Brandon Deshaun. What's up, baby? Salute to the BLC. It takes a lot to transparent about relapse on social media. Truth is, most people relapse a few times before they get long-term recovery. And you, sir, are also now a moderator. We need all we can get. So many haters, dog. Cheeks the Patriot, Cheek the Patriot, ancient change, dog. You know what it is. That's it. Put it behind you, dog. It's 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 a, it's a, a lapse. We don't have a relapse. It's a lapse because we um you know we have we have to move forward. You can't dwell on it. You can't sit back and say, well that's it. I fucked up. The the recovery is over. Who does that? That sucks, man. My brother was murdered. That's so sad, man. Ah, thank you, Ariel. You said people like Lance will survive a nuclear bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking walk through that shit. Glad to hear the gang behind me, baby. Let's roll. You guys don't understand how, like, much how powerful y'all make me feel sometimes, man. Like, to know that there are that many people out there in this world, not just the state, not just the country, you know what I'm saying? The world, bro, the world. Oh, apparently I'm like, I'm a big thing out in the UK. <laughs> Shout out to the UK. Uh, let's go. Yo, the queen, baby. Salute to grind to shine recovery. Go check that dude out, man. He's, got, he's a good dude, he's honest, he's real. And he's, he's a friend of mine, and I think he's just a good person, man. I, mean, I, I feel like he deserves, you know, to have a platform. Here's the thing, like I said, like exactly. Um, uh, Cyrus, yeah, what's up, bro? If you see, when you, when you have one of those relapses or one of those things where you, you fuck up, don't just think about the fuck up, think about what led to the fuck up. Okay, so like, hey. I, I, you know, my girl and me were fighting, or I, I felt alone, or I felt depressed, or whatever. Work on that, and I promise you, if you work on the things that are, are triggering you, you're gonna get you're gonna get better. So uh, I ended up going over to Jay's house last night, actually, 
You know, I've been trying to look a lot better, man. I didn't sleep in my truck, got a bath, you know what I mean? A shower and uh, slept in a bed. And uh, I did a lot of thinking. I did, I mean, him talked a little bit too, man. He was showing me his new setup down there. You guys, if you have not gone on to check Jay Williams' Let's Live Life out, please go over there. And to all the lifers, what's up? Thank you for being here, part of the Gladiator Gang. That dude's new setup is sick. All right? It's sick, man. It is sick. I, he's got a real, real deal setup down there. So, we got to talking, and I think there are a lot of addiction channels. Okay, a lot. But I think I have a vision here, man. And I think that this addiction thing is going to be something that I want to look into creating more about. The prison genre has got so many channels. So many. And the thing about prison genre to me is that it's getting more and more like just watered down. I think that well, it's, you don't have so much content when it comes to prison. I'm not going to start making up stories because I run out. I only have it so many. But, um, hold on a second. Yeah, I think, you know, the possibilities of, like, searching through and maybe doing something with this addiction thing could really be a lifelong journey, especially on social media. Because where are most people at? Where are most people doing it? Get their phone, right? What are these people doing? They're not high. They're trying to get help. Look on their phone. <laughs> so, if you are interested in maybe seeing some more of that, maybe getting a little studio put together when I get myself acclimated back into society, uh, and just having real content, real people. You know what I'm saying? Bring people in and let them. Or go out and seek these people. Go talk to the people. I mean, we meet us up. A friend of mine were at Waffle House not too long ago. And uh, went to Waffle House. Pull up in the Waffle House, right? And on the corner, there's three three people. Very, very, you know, disheveled hair. And, um, you know, you can tell they're homeless. They've got their, they've got their, their egg crates full of their belongings that isn't much. And immediately I, I knew they were tweakers. I know my kind. <laughs> and, uh, oh, hey, Tony, yeah, Tony's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a big Lance hater, man. I keep buying that dude. But I immediately thought, how cool would it be? To just start interviewing these people. Walk up, hey, look. You 20 bucks. Let's talk. And I know, like, you got tweaker herders that does something like that and things like that, but I want to do it in my own little way. And I think it'll be cool, man, to relate to it. Being an ex tweaker myself. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Oh, okay, Tony, I, I got the impression that you were. So I apologize. Tony is not a big Lance hater. I, I apologize for saying that, man. I just, I, for some reason, I had the impression that you were a <laughs> anti-big Lance. Or medium Lance off the chart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shmedium? Shmedium. Shmedium. Well, people who, there's people who don't understand, like, homelessness and drug addiction and things like that and what leads up to those to those outcomes and I want that's what I want to talk about I don't want to talk about drugs necessarily everybody knows there are drugs in the world everybody knows that not everybody knows and understands why and I think that they immediately look at people and judge them and say oh he's lazy or always oh, this always oh, that and at the end of the day we're just all human beings who are going through a constant um, uh, wheel of mistakes. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, right? So there are plenty of mistakes that a lot of people made in their lives that could have led up to a bad scenario or ending, and they just didn't get caught. You know what I mean? Or they got just lucky. I wasn't one of those people. It never happened. 
And I think though that like Bigfoot was telling me last night, he said, bro, I said something, he said, well, Lance, that's what you're here for. I said, what? He said, you're, you're put on this, you were put on this earth to help you. I said, I don't know. He said, oh, I know. He said, you are. He said, there's people in this world who can talk to masses, people who, the, who can let the masses see what they're trying to project. And I told him, well, you know, there's a flip side of that coin. I said, there's people like yourself who talk to the people that can do that to help them and guide them. But if we all sat around fucking just being judgmental of each other, we wouldn't even be, we wouldn't have no friends. We'd have no family. So try to be judgmental. I'm not saying that everybody has, you know, a story that just unlucky. A lot of people are homeless and drug addicts because they're lazy or because they just want to get high. You know? Somebody said I'm on Finney. <laughs> I'm on Finney. Because I because I'm droopy. My eyes are droopy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause forget the fact that it's Friday and I'm tired of shit. Yeah, it worked till seven o'clock last night. But hey, I'm on Finney. Yeah. I'm on some boxing, dude. If I if Finney wouldn't do it to me. <laughs> oh, man. Battery low. Good. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Oh man, I hope it's not uh I forgot I was a transmitting funny. Well you know it's mean did say one thing that that sit with me and in is your call from this morning? Yeah. May I please have a sip? My mouth is parched. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> so, he did say one thing. <clears throat> he said, Lance, the only reason people watch you is because you're a fucking train wreck. Nobody really likes you. Nobody fucking cares. Da, da, da. I know that's being true for everybody, but I don't think it's untrue for a lot of y'all. I want you, I want you to, I want to ask you this, right? You have an individual who has gone in so many realms of life on, I put myself in front of all y'all, right? To all my successes, to my fails. Y'all have watched me buy a house and do all this stuff and get a family, do all this good stuff. And that started to decline. I've been going back lately and watching my old videos. And it was sad, it broke my heart to watch myself. It broke my heart to see myself decay. And then I said, well, you know what? I'm going to blast it on social media. Let me show everybody. Right? And to do that, you have to be ready and willing and able to take everything that's going to come with it. You know what I mean? And that's her. It's a lot. Motherfuckers are savages. Heartless. Savages. Lethal. And they want to, they, when you're down, they want they want to just beat you down to the dirt. As if I wasn't already feeling like that. Right? So now what's going to happen is this. And this is what's going to be the greatness of all this situation. Is that not only am I going to overcome that, not only am I gonna oh, like just make all those people look fucking stupid, but I'm gonna expose the reality of what people really feel in their hearts. These people who are addicted to drugs or or are are people who need love and, and acceptance more than anybody in the world. If they go steal grandma's fucking flat screen and pawn it, most people didn't mean to do that. They didn't wake up that day and say, man, I can't wait to go steal grandma Betty's fucking flat screen. Got. They need somebody to talk them through it. They need somebody to say, hey, bro, you ain't got to do that today. Or maybe see it in the beginning. Don't brush it off like, oh, you know, the, be there. Accept people for who they are and try to work with them. I'm exposing. Everybody's gonna be like, "Damn, dude, that dude really, really beat that shit." Cause I don't have people want me to just die in OD. 
But there's 200 people here. But hey, look, at the end of the day, the beef with it's me, it is what it is, dude. You know, he knows what time it is. I'm not gonna go boxing. I'm not gonna go to no gym. I'm not gonna do any of that shit. Oh, I got stuck in a yucky zone. Damn it. We good? My back? No, it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not walking out. All right, let me see. Yeah, yeah I have like zero bars. The stream is better now. Okay. Well, look, since the stream's bad, I'm gonna jump off of here, man. You're good. And, uh. Oh, okay. Oh, we're good. Um, that being said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna go to a gym with him. I'm not gonna go. Uh, he wants to do it to make a bag. He says, if there's a broke ass playing, you know, whatever. But, bro, you know what time it is, man. Deep down, he knows what time it is. You know, there's people who talk about fighting, there's people that fight. I've probably forgotten about more fights than that boy's ever been in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Like, all that boxing shit and all that you say you do, I don't believe you. I think you're lying. I think that you are a just fat tub of shit who I would knock smooth the fuck out. All right? And I think I'd do it pretty easily. Um, <laughs> but that being said, you know, Everybody have a blessed day. Okay? Have a good Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Let's go. And we will continue to, uh, look at them all. They hate what they saying. What do they say? Y'all get them so fast, they don't even come through. Something important. You're three days clean, but the residual affects you for days, man. Please get help. Get on a program. Hey, thank you very much, Tony. I do appreciate that. And, uh, I'm going to do that, bro. I, I need to start hitting the meetings and stuff. I'm not really in the meetings, but hey, it's something to do. You know what I mean? If I'm going to have idle time. And Jay said it. He said to me, man. He said, bro, it ain't. You just your time. He said, you manage your time better, bro. You, get, you can't sit around and just be bored because you're going to go get your use. So I'm going to try to keep as busy as possible, bro. You know what I mean? What did you say, Gary, Gary? I can see you. The anxiety? Yeah, bro. Shit, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of times people are saying, man, why are you so up and down? Why are you so Because, I, what do you mean? My brain is trying to readjust and, and recalibrate. You know what I'm saying? This, this is a long journey, man. It's a marathon, dude. It's not a sprint race. It's a marathon. So, today I'm, I'm clean. I don't know about tomorrow and fuck yesterday because today's all that matters to me. That's it. That's all humanity to, to, to you if you're doing this. Don't worry about anything else. Make small goals, set them, and work on bigger goals. Okay? That's just what it is, man. Hey, man, I love you too. Thank you, brother. Like I said, I got to get to work before Jay fires me. <laughs> so, much love to the Gladiator Gang. Salute to the Blue Collar Kings. And as always, two L's in a bulletproof far, man. Stay up, stay out, stay sober. Stay sucker free, man. Have a good Friday.